namaste everyone and uh, wishing you the happy diwali and uh, the greetings for diwali so we will continue our study with the 74th verse and these words states mano japa mano java mano java tirth karo mano java tirth karo vasureta vasureta vasuprada vasuprado vasudevo vasur vasu mana havi there are nine names here in this uh, this shloka and we'll go one by one first name is mano java so the meaning of this name is the one who is faster than the speed of mind mana mind mano java the one who has his fast like mind one of the fastest thing we know in this universe is mind so god doesn't say that i am supersonic or i am faster than light he is faster than mind mind can go if we wish from here to india in a split second i can be in uh, with my brother in india in one second so the the fastest and the god is faster than that he is called manojava why so because god wants to readily be available to all his devotees instantaneously whenever they are in distress and they request with that all the heart god wants to be available to them he is faster than the mind because he is already there as a sat chit and anand he is universally present so i don't have to even think or as a, as, a, as, a, as a, and that much time is also not wasted wherever you wish he is already there so that is that is a, the reason is that he wants to be available to his children the truth is that he is the creator so he is the father of the family all that we see and enjoy belongs to him not to us and we are his progeny you know so his children and he wants us to be guided and not lost so that's why he wants to be readily available he does everything from his side so that is mano java example given in scripture is that of a famous example of draupadi ji in mahabharata she was in a extreme difficult situation and she was in distress and and uh, pandavas cousins they wanted to dishonor her and disrob her in the assembly and she, she she was looking for the help from whatever source is available so she she looked at all the bishma pitama and acharya kripa kripali ji and dronacharya and all the masters who were sitting there but all were like helpless and they were looking at down and then ultimately draupadi ji six help of lord krishna and she is madhava and before she could complete that madhava the god came to her rescue and provided her all the covering she wanted so that uh, that stupid uh, dushasana who was trying to disrob her kept pulling her sarees and miraculously god gave so much of supply that he fainted on the floor and then, and then then that uh, <laughs> devil says अरे ये तो नारी है कि सारी इज दिस दिस इज अ लेडी और दिस इज सारी सो सो मीनिंग इज दैट गॉड इज अवेलेबल टू ऑल ऑफ अस प्रोवाइडेड वी क्राई एंड वी सीक हेल्प फ्रॉम हिम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी डोंट सीक हेल्प फ्रॉम हिम वी ट्राई ऑन अवर ओन माइट एंड ओन इंटेलेक्ट नो so that is the meaning of word manojava readily available readily available, fastest so that is the meaning of that word claim manojava next name is tirth karo 
तीर्थ करो तीर्थ करो दिस वर्ड द मीनिंग इज द वन हु चार्ट्स अ पैसेज चार्ट्स अ पाथ सो तीर्थ करो द वन हु मेक्स अ पाथ फॉर यू ही टेल्स यू हाउ टू एंड वन वॉट पाथ टू प्रोसीड सो probably from that the word tirthankar for jainism the all the all the masters in jainism they are called tirthankar the one who shows you the path so tirth karo means the path so god has mainly given two paths for all of us to follow one one is a, and depending upon our constitution our frame of mind and we are all like we discussed before we are all anatomically same but functionally we are all different different in a to a great extent you know we are thank god we are anatomically same we have both the two hands and two eyes and one head as in that way we are very similar all the anatomy is exactly millimeter to millimeter in the same place but functionally we are all different the reason is that we are made up of different gunas or gunas means qualities the quantitatively we are means qualitatively we are made of three gunas sattva rajas and tama we are also made up of three kinds of faith satvik faith rajasik faith and tamasik faith faith means something you stand for something you believe something you are established so this combination six different combinations you put it in computer and uh, and countless different products come out and that's why we are all totally different somebody is 20% rajasik somebody is 42% rajasik and, and 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 so on so that's why there are even two brothers of the same parents are not same so no no two human beings are same we all come from different sources we land up in one family so we call brother sister but we all come from different sources and we are made up of different so dif- because we are different our liking is different our values are different what we stand for is different our tastes are different our uh, selection of color is different selection of food is different everything is different so and to cater to that god has made shown these two uh, two different paths one path is called uh, ritualistic devotion ritual devotion means action worship chanting uh, going to temples doing fasting uh, doing good work doing uh, uh, karma yoga all that come in ritualistic path other path is a meditative path that some of us very few of us but some of us definitely they want to just contemplate think 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 about god and with their profound concentration and dedication they can realize god that is meditative path and some of us unfortunately as they don't want to go near either of them and uh, and they say so they they are totally dedicated to the worldly things and uh, sense sensual path they, they they are under the control of senses and and mind and uh, just want to enjoy whatever they see and that's it they have nothing to do with ritualistic or meditative so these different paths the god has shown both these major path they can take you to ultimate goal what is ultimate goal ultimate goal is seeking for a peace and bliss or or a total liberation in hinduism we call it moksha lord jesus calls it uh, salvation no? so 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 both are same you know means means me freedom from the worldly things attractions and distraction as uh, is is a, is a, is the ultimate goal so both these paths the meditative path or ritualistic path take you there not that one is superior or inferior but a meditative path is faster because that kind of people don't waste time 
in the worldly thing and they, they are only focused on one goal. While the karma yogi or the, uh, the ritualistic people, they have different, uh, uh, the, 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 means their time is wasted in worldly activities and uh, other things. So that is slower, but both will essentially take you to the same goal. And that's what happens to Arjuna in the in, in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna in second chapter gives him the plenty of knowledge, Sankhya Yoga, knowledge. In third chapter, he talks about karma, what, what you should do, karma yoga. So Arjuna got confused. The God, you told this knowledge part is very good, and now you are telling me to do these activities and and perform your duties, and now you say that is very good. So he, he puts the Lord uh, and, say, and demands that you tell me only one thing, God. So, so sannyasa karma yogascha. Then, then in the, in the uh, next chapter, God says, sannyasa karma yogascha niha sri sakaravubo tayo astu karma sannyasa karma yogo visisate. Arjuna, you are right. Both these paths are good. Sannyasa, that meditative path, and karma yoga means that is ritualistic and by, by working in the world. Both are good. But, but out of these two, karma yoga is better, superior. Why he says that? Because it's easier to do, Arjuna. Other path is for very select, very uh, already developed uh, souls, not for everybody. So, sannyasa, karma yoga, scha, niha, sri, sakara, wo, both are good. Tayo vastu, out of those, tayo vastu, karma sannyasa, karma yoga visisate. So, karma yoga is better because it is easier to perform. So, we saw two paths and the one who shows this path so clearly is Lord Almighty. That's why his name is Tirthakaro. So wherever God performed his activities during his incarnation, those places ultimately become the places of pilgrimage. Like, like Vrindavan, Mathura, Gokur, all those places where Lord Krishna spent his time and did all his lilas, means duties and activities, it is, they are all worshipped by all the devotees for ages. So, even where the Lord taught Bhagavad Gita, that, that place also becomes a place of worship. So, where, wherever the Lord or his even the great masters who come one after the other, like Sankaracharya, Vallabhacharya and all these Acharyas come and do the duties as good as God because, because they are his ministers. You know? so, so, so those places also become places of worship. You know? So that's why all the four, Badrinath, Kedarnath, all these, uh, Jagannath Puri, all these four matha and four places, uh, they, they become the uh, places of pilgrimage. So, Tirthakaro, that is the meaning of uh, uh, this name. Next one is Vasureta. Vasureta. Vasu means excellent. Vasu has several meanings. Vasu means excellent, the best of the best. Reta means creative fluid. The one which, which creates creative fluid. That in a simple uh, anatomical language, so that is a uh, so that is a seminal fluid or creative fluid. As a God, God doesn't need those kind of fluid. He He does it with His, his miraculous power. But that is the creative power. That is why it is His name is Vasu Reta, the Creator, the seed from which. These excellent things have emerged. What are the excellent things have emerged? These beings, all human beings and this whole creation is, is because of the Lord Almighty. 
So this creation, it's a, the creative power of God that is that is what is indicated here. Vasureta. The, so means seed. So that's why God says, Vijam Maam Sarva Bhutanam to Arjuna, he tells. Arjuna, know me to be the seed. Vijam Maam Sarva Bhutanam, Sarva Bhutanam upon all beings. Vijam Maam Sarva Bhutanam Vidhi Partha Sanatanam. You, Arjuna, you know that I am the seed, eternal seed, Sanatana. So, Vijam Maam Sarva Bhutanam Vidhi Partha Sanatanam. Buddhir buddhi matamasmi tejas tejas vinamha. I am the intelligence of intellect, intellectual people, at the end, I am the brilliance of the brilliant people. Everything is me. Whether the beauty of Aishwarya Rai or the charitable nature of Ratanji Tata, that all is because of me. So, that is the creative power of the Lord. So, that's why. His name is Vasu Reta. This he clearly explains even later in Bhagavad Gita in the 14th chapter. That is, there he says very nicely, as that is 14, 3 and 4. So he, he says that Mama Yoni Mahad Brahma. Listen to this. Mama Yoni Mahad Brahma Tasmin Garbham Dadamiham. Sambhava Sarva Bhutanam Tato Bhavati Bharata. My creation comes from Prakriti, this material universe, and consciousness or a Jiva Sakti. Mama Yoni Mahad Brahma, Brahman. Sasmin Garbham Dadamim. I put a seed there. Tasmin Garbham Dadamim. Sambhava Sarva Bhutanam. All beings are produced because of that. Sambhava Sarva Bhutanam. Tato Bhavati Bharata. And then he says, Sarva Yoni Sukunteya. Of all the Yonis, whether you see uh, cats, dogs, uh, serpent, anything, you can name it. Sarva Yoni Sukunteya. Murtaya means the mortal beings which are created. Sarva Yoni Sukunteya. Murtaya Sambhavantiva Tesham Brahma Mahadiyoni Aham Abhijapradha Pita I am the father. The father and mother that we uh, recognize and associate with that, that is, they are responsible for our anatomical creation. Fetus is formed because of the ovum and sperm. But the real life is placed by God Almighty. If he doesn't do that, that, that fetus will be a dead fetus. So body is a material thing. This separates out so clearly. Body is a material thing and the being is, a, is because of the Almighty God, Jiva. It's called Jiva, which is Atman. But when Atman is confined in the body, it is called Jiva. Why it is called Jiva? Because it gives a Jivan, it gives a life. Life is Jivan. And that Jivan, the one which gives the life, is called Jiva. So, so the, this is how God explains that Prakriti is one thing and Purusha. We have done this many times. So, Prakriti is one because of one which the body is formed, any body, you know. And Jiva is the one which I put. A serpent, is, 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 I put the life in serpent so that it is moving. When that Jiva is gone, it will be a dead serpent. Same the dead human being. So that is the separation. So that is that power, that creator, is is Vasureta, the creative fluid, creative seed. So that is that is that is the meaning of word Vasureta. So the next name is Vasu uh, Vasuprada. 
all these six names, first two names were different, but these subsequent six names, they all start with Vasu. Vasu has several meanings. So Vasu. Uh, Vasu Prada. Vasu means wealth also. Vasu means, uh, means uh, brilliant qualities. Vasu means wealth. Vasu means somebody who resides. That is also called Vasu. We will see those meanings, different meanings. So Vasu Prada means the one who gives you the wealth. Vasu means wealth. Prada, Pradhan means to give. One who gives these wealth bountiful to you without any conditions, without signing any papers, he just gives it. There's no application required, nothing. He gave the body, then he, he made sure that everything is ready for you. The, 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 the milk in the mother's breast is ready and the food is ready and everything. The, the air to breathe and water to drink, everything is available to you. Who gives you? So that the one who gives you is called Vasuprada, giver of wealth. That is Vasuprada, material wealth. He gives everything, he makes everything available to us. So that is starting from plant kingdom to animal kingdom, food, fru fruits, everything you can name it. He, he also gives you everything in, in, in the Mother Earth. That is a gold you want. Okay, gold, steel, oil, everything. Who gave you that? And so the God left it for us to use it. Of course, we, we, put, we made a commerce out of it. That is a different story. But it was all given by God without any conditions everywhere. So that is called Vasu Prada, the giver of wealth. Not only he gives this wealth, but for us to understand very quickly that how, how masterly it is that he makes from grass, he makes milk for you through cows. We take it for granted and say, <laughs> we, we, we drink milk and without thinking anything, but who made it? So that is that the one who provides all these, even a child will become a believer. No, if he starts thinking that from grass, God processed it through cows and goats and other animals, and the milk was available for not only for the calf, but for the whole mankind. And this such a giver without any condition, without any uh, you know, presenting any bills or anything for to you to pay, pay is, is God. That's why his name is Vasu Prada. So he provides material wealth. It is immaterial that we, we put a little, a little area and say, this is my plot and that's your plot and all these things. That is different, but it was essentially given by him. It belongs to him. It is, a, it is only for our use. And he makes sure that you leave it here, empty hand, and go. So, so that is, that is his, uh, his creation. But out of uh, delusion, power of maya, we get confused. All the confusion and everything is because of his power of maya. And uh, that is also God. Power of Maya is his, his Sakti, that is his power. So, so we, we get confused. So that is Vasu Prada. There is na next name comes also is Vasu Prada, Prado. So it comes two times. This is not a, a typo error, but it is it is two kinds of wealth. The one we talked about material wealth. And the second is the spiritual wealth, the real wealth which the highest wealth which is a, which is a, which is what we talked about salvation or moksha or or eternal bliss and peace that you attain to that status where you merge with god and you don't have to go through the rotations of birth and death cycle that's why he showed two paths for us to walk on that he says go on these two paths your salvation is guaranteed if you don't become a dropout. So, so you continue there. 
and and in these two paths will take you to eternal salvation and that is the highest wealth god says that is the wealth i want you to acquire not the wealth you whatever you are gathering there because it will be futile for you that will be useless to you it it, it will nothing will go with you no so so that is a, that is the other part the other wealth the salvation of moksha that also god makes it available to us and that's why he's called vasu prada giver of material wealth giver of spiritual wealth both his this god that's why he's called vasu prada two times and and that that is the that is the god god wants us to go on that path he says unless you go on that path you will be coming in these rotation for a, for a countless times in different forms and different species and different good circumstances bad circumstances everything so that's what he explains to arjuna towards the 18th chapter and then he says ishvara sarvabhutanam ishvara sarvabhutanam hriday arjun tishtati brahmayan sarvabhutani yantra rudhani mayaya in this shloka he tells everything it is i think 1861 or something so ishvara means god ishvara sarva bhutana means in all beings not only human beings every beings ishvara sarva bhutana hriday arjuna tishtati he period he gave the gave the address also he gave the fact and address that arjuna god almighty resides in every beings don't think that that dog has no no god don't think that cow has no god you you may destroy that for your i don't want to go in detail like that you know but but for your taste and for your personal thing and you make a make a, a mess out of this creation that is that is your headache arjun so ishvara sarva bhuta naam hriday arjun tishtati brahmayan sarva bhutani but all these beings are are rotating they are spinning brahmayan sarva bhutani yantra rudhani mayaya as if they are mounted yantra means machine as if they are mounted machine body is a machine in the, as if they are mounted on a, a machine yantra arudhani 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 means mounted yantra rudhani maya ya because body is made up of maya so on the machine made up of maya every being is mounted and is because of his delusion they are spinning in the world unless you start thinking and and, and take this spiritual path or this path of inquiry you will be spinning in a different forms so you have limited time you will come and go and come and go and so 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 then he says that's that's why he tells that you know okay this is the problem and he says that's why that's why he tells in the last chapter he gives all the guidance quickly so then then he says tameva sharanam gacha <laughs> take his shelter tameva sharanam gacha sarva bhavena with all your emotion all your intellect tameva sharanam gacha sarva bhavena bharata what will happen tvat prasadat param shantim sthanam prapsasi sasvatam he tells him this is the situation and there is a solution tam eva to only his tam eva means only tam eva sharanam to take refuge in him take go to his cell tam eva sharanam gacha sarva bhavin bharat tvat prasadat through his grace tvat prasadat param shanti eternal peace will get tam param shanti sthanam prapsasi sasvatam and you will get a placement which is a, which is eternal uh, for eternal placement for you to enjoy 
So he showed the problem, then he showed these solutions. Tameva sharanam gacha sarvabhavena parat. Tvat prasada. Param santim. Sthanam prapsasi sasvatam. Jesus says grace. Lord Krishna says prasad. Different language, same thing. So, and that moksha or final placement or liberation only will happen through His grace. Trying is your job and then the grace is bestowed on you to all the serious seeker and, and the guarantee of success. Everybody gets a gold medal if we don't drop out on the spiritual path. But 80% of us, we drop out. So that is that is uh, another problem. So Vasuprada we saw. We, we saw two meanings of Vasuprada. Then, then next name is Vasudeva. Very, very important name. God's name, Vasudeva. Lord Krishna is called Vasudeva. The meaning is that he is a son of Vasudeva. His father's name is Vasudev. That's why we chant this. Vasudev, Vasutam Devam, Kansa Chanura Mardanam, Devaki Parmanandam, Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru. Vasudev, Vasutam Devam, the, the son of Vasudev. That's why he's called Vasudev. That's one meaning. Another meaning of Vasudev is Vasu means something which resides. Vasati iti vasu, one which is station, is called vasu, pervading. So that God resides in every being, that's what we talked about. As a jiva, he resides in everyone. Because he resides in everyone, the, as a particle of God, his name is Vasudeva. So the divine power which resides in all of us and because of that divine power, his name, name is Vasudeva. So the, that's what he tells in Bhagavad Gita. Mame vansu jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana manasasthani indriyani Prakriti Sthani Karsati. He explains to Arjuna, 15.7, that Arjuna, my particle, mam eva ans, only my particle. See, a, a word is very important where God has used many times. Mam eva means only me. Mam eva anso, my particle, nothing nothing else is, is in you. Mam eva anso, jiva loke, means in this creation, jiva loke. Jiva Bhuta means in every being. Jiva Bhuta. Sanatana means eternal particle. My eternal life particle is residing in every being. Mame Vansu Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana Mana Sasthani Indriyani with the mind as the sixth sense. There are five senses and mind. Mana Sasthani Indriyani Prakruti Sthani Karsati So, so that, that Five senses and mind, they get attracted and distracted to Prakriti. I am the divine power within you. I made you as good as I am, God says. A baby is as good as a Brahman. No, no difference. So Brahma, God's qualities are all in the baby. But because later on the power of Maya and the influence of the society and the Maya creates different layers and layers and leaves us confused and disoriented. So that is God is telling Mame Vansu Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatan Manasastani Indriyani Prakriti Stani Karsati. So to reverse this process, God shows the technique that your, your mind and senses through you in the world withdraw those senses and mind back to me. 
and then you will be you will be like a baby that's what they say that when when you are, are, are withdrawing your mind and senses through spiritual sadhanas then the influence of the maya goes away and what is left is your atman because mind is destroyed there is nothing like mind this is all tricks of the mind so those those influences we delete and that power also god has given so i have given you that power only you have to use it so but then you will become like a baby so these brahma gnanis they are compared with a, with a, with a, with a baby like a like a madman no they are they are not in this world so so that is that is the meaning of vasudev so that is the life principle because he is the life principle his name is vasudev he is a son of vasudev so his name is vasu he is is ever existing and everywhere vastly pervading so there's that that's why lord vishnu's name is vasudev here vishnu and vasudev they are not different they are all one the next name is vasu again vasu so in this uh, vasu there's a vasu is a group of divine beings there are eight vasus according to scriptures that is a, that is eight vasus eight different celestial beings which are very benevolent on human beings and they are the givers these eight vasus these eight was what are those eight vasus eight vasus are starts with the Uh, with uh, soma means uh, means uh, uh, moon soma next one is, is stars and uh, as symbolic of star is dhruva so one is soma then dhruva as a means uh, as a polar star third one is is uh, is uh, uh, dhara means mother earth fourth one is all wind or anila wind fifth one is called analo means fire anila means wind analo means fire so so an uh, is, uh, so that is analo then early morning sun that is dawn and the light it brings that is called prabhas that is a that is early morning light these are the vasus these are the uh, the different kind kind of vasus and one more was water no so up so these eight so moon polar star dhara dharti water up wind uh, that is uh, that is anila analo means fire and uh, and and uh, as it is uh, early morning dawn uh, and the light that it brings all this free all this from prakriti all this for life so these are eight vasus and these eight vasus god says that vasu naam pavo kaschasmi in vibhuti yoga he says of all these eight vasus i am the fire vasu naam pavo kaschasmi meru shikhire naam ham so that that comes in vibhuti rudra naam shankar aschasmi he says of all the destructive power of god i am the lord shiva rudra naam shankar aschasmi viteso aksar saam ham of the all the wealth i am a kubir with with means money aksar sam then then uh, the pavaka that it is vasu naam pavaka stasmi of all those eight vasus i am i am fire 
Vasunam Pagas, Meru Sikhirinam, of all the mountains, I am a Meru mountain. So that is, as I said, that is there. So fire, that's why we light fire first, and that is, that is a symbol of divine power. And in the yagna, first thing we is done is the fire is the central thing. Fire always goes up. Fire consumes everything. Fire reduces everything to ashes. And that's why the Lord Sankara, from the ashes, he puts the ashes all over his body. Because everything is, 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 is reduced to divinity, you know. That, uh, that, is, uh, that is ultimate truth is left, you know. So, the, the Vasunam Pavakaschas, me. So, of all these Vasugus, the benevolent gods, which is shows the connection between human being and the prakriti or creation. These 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 lines of the two human beings to the prakriti. So vasu. So the next name is vasu mana. Vasu mana means means. means uh, Uh, the, the pure mind, the uncontaminated mind, uncontaminated intellect, when the divinity pervades and you continue the spiritual path, slowly the negative elements that went in our constitution during childhood and during our life, those, those six great enemies, that is Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Matsa, six. These are called six enemies, Sarsatru. Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madha, Matsa, arrogance, arrogance, jealousy. We are studied with that, you know. They, not everybody they get develops cancer and is sad, you know, <laughs> or get a heart, say, heart attack. We are all sad because of these six bala, you know, those, those six nonsense heresies as more than a physical illness, you know. So, so, and and once that those illnesses are deleted, what is what is left is God. It was to start with God. These six things were got got access to us through our senses and mind, and and. Um, in fact, infected us. So the spiritual path is to get rid of that infection and affliction. And once you do that, you, what you are left with is all the joy and peace. You don't have to do anything. Then you are just happy for no reason. Happy wherever you are. Whether you have a 10,000 bank balance or 10 million, you are happy. So, so that, is, that, that is the ultimate truth. But but because of the power of Maya, we ten of us will not agree on that. No, so because that is the power of Maya, then say, oh no no no, this I think so, I think so, and then thinking starts, and a hundred people start thinking, and the mess happens, you know. So so vasu mana. So the real seeker, real devotee, doesn't say that I think this way. He doesn't say that. So anytime a guru or any devotee says that I think so, I don't believe so, I know that he is still a baby, no? So so when he says, you know, Bhagavad Gita says that, this as Ramayana says that, this Ved Vyasa says that, Bible says that, Prophet says that, then you know that he is a real, he is a seeker, real. So Vasu Mana means pure mind. Pure mind, devoid of any blemishes. That is Vasumana. And God says, shows how to become that Vasumana. And he, he tells Arjuna how to become that. He shows Arjuna in the 11th chapter, his Visvaru. He says, look, this is who I am really. I am not your chariot. No? I am this almighty God. And then at the end, out of blue, he gives this sloka there. And then it says, Mat karma krun mat parmo, guidance. Mat karma krun mat parmo, mad bhak 
ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಘ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಇಲೆವೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃನ್ ಮತ್ ಪರ್ಮೊ ಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಘ ವರ್ಜಿತ ನಿರ್ವೇರ ಸರ್ವ ಭೂತೇಶು ಯಸ ಮಾಮಿತಿ ಪಾಂಡವ ಹಿ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೋಕ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂ ಐ ಎಂ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಐ ಶೋಡ್ ಯು ಮೈ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ನಾವು ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃಣ ಮತ್ ಪರ್ಮೋ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಯು ಡೂ ಯೋರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃಣ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃಣ್ ಮತ್ ಪರ್ಮೋ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ವಿತ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮೈ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಗ ವರ್ಜಿತ ವಿಧೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಟು ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ಪೊಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಮತ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಕೃಣ್ ಮತ್ ಪರ್ಮೋ ಮದ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಸಂಗ ವರ್ಜಿತ ನಿರ್ವೇರ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಶು ನೋ ಎನಿಮೋಸಿಟಿ ಆರ್ ಇಲ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ನಿರ್ವೇರ ಸರ್ವಭೂತೇಶು ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಯಸ ಮಾಮಿತಿ ಪಾಂಡವ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಫಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ there is no confusion he has left your job where you are stationed is satriya you have a duty you have a call serious call to fight a righteous war you must do it dedicating to me as your duty without any animosity or ill feeling towards anybody and without any attachment that's why arjuna got ready that otherwise he had an attachment to bhishma pitama that no this is my grandfather i i grew up in his lap how can i kill him from that status to this extreme god takes him that that no no attachment arjuna you were alone and bhishma pitama was alone he will do his job you do your job and you do for the mankind and that's why he made that to uh, Uh, war and uh, because it was very very essential no otherwise the evil will will proliferate and will finish and god doesn't want his uh, such a beautiful creation to go to dirt you know so that is that is the vastu mana and last one is havi havi means uh, that is a oblation that we we put it in fire the 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 havi means a means a oblation that a priest or a one who is performing yagna puts it in in the fire so and there are different kinds of materials you know depending upon what kind of yagna you are performing and that that that, that is consist of uh, consist of honey milk uh, sesame seeds and and barley seeds and that we we, we as a symbolic we put it in the fire so fire is called deva mukha it is the mouth of gods and it is also called deva duta it takes the, all the messages to the divinity you invoke god and you make these offerings it takes all these uh, your feelings your emotions to- towards the divinity so that is the, the one which is offered in the yagna is called havi the one who is performing yagna is brahman god explains that the one one material which you are putting is 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 brahman the you are worshiping brahman and everything is for brahman so that's why we chant that famous shloka brahma arpanam means dedicated to brahman brahma arpanam brahma vi here comes avi brahma havi brahma havi is also brahman brahma arpanam brahma vi brahma agno that fire is also brahman brahma agno brahmana hutam the, the one who is uh, as uh, this process is also brahman brahmana hutam brahmevatena gantavyam it all goes towards the divine brahmevatena gantu brahma karma samadina with a, with that frame of mind everything is god everything belongs to god everything is done for god and that yagna means it means a good work is done that is called uh, brahmarpana brahmavir and that is a last name havi so so thus there are nine names and uh, the meanings as explained by acharya sankara acharya ji and many other masters in 
uh, to make us understand the divinity in the entirety. So I hope you liked it. If you have a question, Thank you can you, ask. Thank you, Dr. Jokshi, for a great lecture. And anybody has a question for Dr. Chokshi, please go ahead. Uh, Adulbhai, I just uh, want a little clarity on the Vasus. I think you mentioned eight of them, uh, but probably I might have missed it. So five are usually what it's called a Panchabhuta, correct? Almost like you have a Dara. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are the constituents of Prakriti. So the Panchabhuta is there, yes. Other one is a Dhruv Tara, that star. And also you mentioned about dawn. Yes. Right? Yes. And is the light of early morning is a separate one that makes it eight? Yes, and yes, yes. Oh. Okay, got it. Thank yes. you. So so essentially it points towards the sun god. Yeah. That sun god comes, uh -huh. so that is dawn. And uh -huh. what does it bring? That early morning rays, they are they are very sacred, supposed to be, you know, and that is that is called prabhas. Yeah. yeah. If that light is not there, we are blind <laughs> with our, with our <laughs> eyes and we bump into each other. Okay. <laughs> so, see the truth here? Yeah. This is, this is so, oh my God, it is. Uh, I, I, I am gone in that, you know. So, so this, this is uh, uh, true to the dot. No matter how intelligent you are. Those who are little intelligent, they say, I don't believe in this. No? So tell him, that just, just go and make a milk, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks from grass. smart buddy. <laughs> and, uh, and this guy, cow, I'm feeding the grass, and you get a sweet milk, and you are drinking like a, uh, you know, and enjoying. <clears throat> and then still you say, I don't know, I don't know. No, of course you don't know. That's why you, you go through the scriptures. No? You will <laughs> never know on your own. Yeah. God's guarantee that you will never know what is his duties, what is dharma. You will never know. The only way to know is through the valid means. Those are scriptures. Jesus says the same thing. Don't lean on your own shoulder. Go to my father. He will guide you. He calls father. So that's what it is. No? I am the son. He is the father. I am the messenger. He is the, he is the ultimate. And that's what it is. No? No, but I he says, don't count on your intellect. Otherwise, you will be, you know, you will be making conferences after conferences and still fight with the, with the sword about your religion. And that's what we have done for centuries. Centuries. You know? So never try to understand dharma or your, your duties by your own intellect, because intellect is contaminated. It's contaminated with greed, lust, and ego. Individual's intellect is contaminated, collective intellect of, a, of a people who are supposed to be the senators and other things in power, they, that is contaminated. So, so selfish interest, so the, how can you make correct decision? You will never make correct decision. If, if that was correction and uh, then, uh, then divine power, if you invoke, you will make correct uh, decision. Say, no, my friends, I don't want to kill. And you don't kill and that's uh, the things will solve. But, but such, such people are kept out of uh, the, uh, this uh, decision making from the schools, from colleges and from everywhere. And some politics, which is, a, you, you all witness that, which is a messy process to start with. And the one, whoever is, you know, the trick more tricky comes in the power, and such tricky people, you are left to them, and whatever they do, how can great things can come out of it? It can never come out. That's why in the old times, the rajas, the kings were kings were not the controller. That uh, Mahar, as, uh, that uh, as, uh, that is uh, Maharshi's, the, the Rishi that uh, as, uh, where their as they were the, their advisor, they were charting the path. That king, you should follow this path, and they were the they were the CEO or executive agent, but they were not decision maker. So that is a, that's called Rajarshi, you no, know, the rishis of the uh, kingdom. And, uh,
But now those things disappeared. <laughs> so, so whoever can fight, who can whoever can collect more money, who can bring more votes by hook or crook, he becomes your your administrator in charge. <laughs> and then, and then like it's a mess. No, really, it is a mess. And you will see that more and more you know, trouble in the future. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnatya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om